Hello dear my friends, welcome to AW Versatile TV. Today's news is the news from France, Europe. As French President Emmanuel Macron intensifies his anti-Muslim campaign, leaders and analysts in the Muslim world turn the spotlight on France President's goal of inciting hatred against Muslims. Leaders and people of Muslim countries around the world are protesting against Macron's reckless rush to support what he called the French right to blaspheme against the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him on Saturday. France recalled its ambassador to Turkey after President Recep Erdogan said his French counterpart needs mental treatment over his view of Islam. What is the problem of this person called Macron with Muslims and Islam? Macron needs treatment on a mental level, the Turkish president said in what he appeared to be a criticism of the French president's recent vow to fight Islamism. He added, what else can be said to a head of state who does not understand freedom of belief and who behaves in this way to millions of people living in his country who are members of a different faith. Erdogan and Macron have been at loggerheads in recent months over a range of issues, including a dispute over territorial waters between Turkey and Greece, the conflict in Libya, and the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh in Armenia and Azerbaijan. Macron's support for blasphemous cartoons against Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has only accelerated the discord between the two presidents who at times personally attack each other. Outrage and insult are not a matter, Macron's office said in a response to the Turkish president's remarks. France's relations with the Muslim world took a dangerous turn in early October when Macron gave a speech to counter what he described as the ways radical Islamism infiltrates French society. Macron also turned the spotlight on what he called Islamist separatism, outlining a plan to build an Islam in the France that can be an Islam of enlightenment. The Macron plan includes trading imams, the Moravis, in France rather than continuing the practice to import the Molanas imams from Algeria, Morocco, and Turkey and other countries. Islam is a religion that is experiencing a crisis across the world, the French president claimed. Macron's speech has raised eyebrows in many parts of the France and beyond it as it was clear departure from his political platform over the past years which was based on liberal values and freedom of speech for all social groups in French society. The French, uh, the French speech also spark a wave of outrage among Muslims in France and the Muslim world. While the debate over Macron's new approach towards Muslim in France was still ongoing, the president defended satirical newspaper Charlie Hebdo, which published caricatures of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that helped inspire two French-born men to mount a deadly attack on January, in the month of January 2015, on the paper's newsroom. Seventeen people were killed in that time, in that attack, which marked the beginning of a wave of violence by the terrorist groups in Europe, including ISIS. In a provocative move, the newspaper republished again the insulting caricature in the month September, in the last month September, as the trial began of 14 people over the attacks on the newspaper and a kosher supermarket. The newspaper's insistence on the republishing the insulting cartoon once again revived the debate over the 
relation between freedom of faith and freedom of expression. This debate was further exacerbated following the murder of Samuel Patty, a French middle school teacher who was killed by a teenager in a suburb of Paris after he showed the Charlie Hebdo cartoon in the class. Instead of containing the hatred toward Muslims in France, Macron chose to further crack down on Muslims who were fed up with the insults against their prophet. Of course, Muslims around the world denounced the killing of the French teacher who was posthumously awarded later on by the French government, the French highest honor. Macron, who is seen by some as a exacerbating hatred toward Muslims, tried to use the matter of petty to move toward move forward with his pre-planned campaign against Muslims in France. He was killed precisely because he incarnated the Republic, Macron said like a policeman for, the, for this man Patty, Samuel Patty, adding he was killed because the Islamists want our future. They know that with quite heroes like him, he was talking about Patty, Samuel Patty, the murder teacher, they will never have it. Earlier in September, Macron promised to counter Islamic separatism while defending the right to blasphemy. Speaking at a ceremony in September, celebrating France's democratic history and naturalizing new citizens, he said, you do not choose one part of France, you choose France, the Republic the Republic will never allow any separatist adventure. Freedom in France, Macron said, includes the freedom to believe or not to believe, but this is inseparable from the freedom of expression up to the right to blaspheme. But critics have questioned the idea of freedom of expression in France. They say if ridiculing and committing blasphemy against a prophet, revered, honored, respected by more than a billion and a half people in this world, in this globe, is considered to be part of freedom of expression, then why conducting research about or scientifically questioning the Holocaust, let alone ridiculing it, is not a part of freedom of expression? This may be the reason why some analysts accuse Macron of pursuing double standards in dealing with a part of France population that is known for being marginalized and deprived of their basic rights. France is home to the largest Muslim population in Europe. Macron himself once acknowledged that the French governments have marginalized the Muslim citizens. We build a concentration of majority and difficulties. We concentrated populations according to origin and social milieu, he admittedly said. We created neighborhoods where the promise of the Republic was never kept and where these most radical forms of Islamism became sources of hope. However, Macron promised to attack these concentrations. What we should attack is Islamist separatism, the French president said. After the killing of Samuel Patti, Macron has doubled down on his Islamophobic agenda, expressing support for the insulting cartoons of Charlie Hebdo speaking at a televised memorial service for the murdered teacher. Macron told viewers that France will not give up our cartoons. These remarks spark a web of outrage across the Muslim world, prompting the people of some Muslim countries to launch a campaign aiming to boycott French products. Twitter users in the Arab world call for boycotting these products by using Arabic hashtags such as boycotting French products. Macron insults the prophet and our prophet 
is a red line. These hashtags have been trending in many Arab countries in recent days. Twitter users also prepared a list of dozens of French firms that they want them to be boycotted by Muslims due to Macron's insult against the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Macron has deliberately hurt the sentiments of 1.8 billion Muslims by attacking Islam and our holy prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Boycotting any French product is a little gift we can give to him and his supporters, tweeted one Suheb Sadiq while posting a picture showing the logos of many French firms. Some Twitter users also published images showing supermarkets in some Arab countries such as Kuwait, Qatar that are empty of French products. Qatar's flagship Almira supermarket has removed all French products from its shelves after calls for boycott grew louder across the Arab and Muslim world. The corporation announced on Friday tweeted a Twitter user called Chamberlain. Al-Rim, another Twitter user said, I invite you to boycott French products after the French government supported cartoons that insult our prophet, peace be upon him. Religious and political leaders in the Arab countries also condemned Macron's approach toward Muslims, saying He's damaging a French Islamic relations and instigating hatred for political and partisan gains. Organizations of Islamic Cooperation OIC, said in a statement that it has followed the ongoing practice of running satirical caricatures depicting the Prophet, Prophet Muhammad peace upon be upon him and it was stuck with astonishment at so unexpected a disclosure from certain French politicians, which it seems to be harmful to the French-Muslim relations, hate-mongering and only serving partisan political interest. The General Secretary says it will always condemn practices of blasphemy and of insulting Prophet of Islam. Christianity and Judaism shared the OIC statement, adding that it had earlier condemned the brutal murder of French citizen Samuel Paty. Analysts and uh, political leaders also agree with the OIC's assessment that Macron is a politically exploiting the idea of freedom of speech to create a manufactured crisis with Muslim citizens of France.